what is going on you guys welcome back to my channel and if you are new and you've never seen my face before hi my name is ash and this is my channel living ash i know you clicked on this video because of course i'm gonna be showing you guys what's in my bag now if you're like me you carry your purse or you want to carry your purse and there's probably some things that you're looking to either put in your bag or maybe you just forgot and maybe you just want some advice some tips and or you just nosy you just want to see what's in my bag because i just like watching these type of videos too so i am going to be showing you guys what's in my purse here i know a lot of people do these videos with like luxury handbags and things like that but um i don't have a luxury handbag today i'm going to be showing you guys my little purse from shein i actually purchased this on a whim really and then i started seeing a lot of other women have this purse it's very very pretty i feel like it goes with a lot of my outfits i've been really into like browns and nudes and those type of tones and colors and it's just been everything so i'm going to be showing you this it, this bag was super affordable i will find the link and leave it down below so that's what we're going to be talking about today what's in my bag and yeah it's gonna be super chill and realistic because this is really what's in my bag and before we get into the video let's thank today's sponsor thank you so much bellway for sponsoring this video and let's get into that and then i'll show you guys what's in my bag if you've ever gotten a breakout then you know what you put in your body can affect the way your skin looks bellway beauty supplements are made with fiber and collagen to help improve your skin from the inside this has fiber, you guys, and fiber helps detoxify your system to help prevent breakouts and improves the way your body absorbs nutrients that support your skin, hair, and nails. As you guys know, I've been talking about my fitness journey and definitely changing some things in my diet. So this is something that I've implemented and you guys, it has made such an improvement in the way my skin looks and the way I feel. Bella Beauty is an organic, all natural, keto, paleo friendly and gluten free fiber supplement, which helps you stay fuller longer so you don't crave those unhealthy snacks that can really create havoc on your skin. This product is actually made with psyllium husk, bovine collagen, hyaluronic acid, and real fruit. The flavor that I received is the lemon lime, and I really like this flavor. You can add this into a bottle of water, or you can put it in a smoothie, whichever works best for you. I decided to use it in a bottle of water because I just like to get it down super quick, and it just makes it easier and gives my water a good taste. This is a powder and it also contains hyaluronic acid and collagen which help increase the skin's elasticity, decrease wrinkles, and helps the skin stay hydrated. It's also important to note that this is made with non-GMO ingredients and zero sugar. Bellway Beauty is actually safe to drink one to three times a day. Just mix it with water like I did or blend it in your smoothie and drink immediately. They also have Bellway Fiber, which is actually amazing for gut health. For you, my supporters, I have a code for you you will get 20% off your first order at Bellway using my code ASH20. You're not going to want to miss out on this product. You can also follow them on Instagram at GetBellway. And you guys, definitely try this out. I absolutely love Bellway, so I hope that you guys will check them out. I've been using them a lot, as you guys heard me say, and everything from Bellway will be in the description below, so you guys can check them out. Thank you again, Bellway. So let's get into the bag and what the heck is in it so with this purse right off the bat like the first thing that's in my purse is my adidas face mask i got this for free actually um adidas actually gave me uh like four masks i believe i had made a big purchase and they gave me some masks so i have my face mask in here i know things are kind of crazy with the masks now but i still wear mine and i still bring it everywhere with me um and the next thing i have to show you guys advil if you have a purse, if you have anything even remotely close to a bag, you should have, I believe, some sort of medicine, medication. As a woman, I, I struggle with terrible, terrible, terrible periods. Um, the cramps are ridiculous and Advil is my best friend during that time and I have a boyfriend who gets headaches a lot and at times he's like oh my goodness we've had to like stop at gas stations for advil and honestly now i just keep a nice advil in my bag so that we're just good to go because getting a headache getting cramps getting whatever it ruins the vibe it does and it's annoying so just having that on deck is super convenient now one thing i do want to mention to you guys which i think is so helpful and i'm so glad that it was something like i think it was tiktok that had actually put me on i know i have multiple in the bag though that's why i'm searching because i definitely keep them on deck these are what i call perfume atomizers i 
completely was mind blown when I found out about these. These are so convenient. These are more so convenient for like a long term traveling type trip where you're going to be like away from the home for a few days. I really recommend you guys buy these on Amazon. They were very affordable. Again, I will leave the links of everything I'm talking about in the description below. A perfume atomizer allows you to just bring your big bottles of perfume anywhere with you so i didn't even get to tell you guys my scent of the day which is super important honestly i am wearing a brand new fragrance this is what i call a money fragrance this is the bond number nine nui de nojo um this is so good when i tell you i smell super nice it has bergamot it has vanilla it has notes of patchouli jasmine it just ha it's just a gorgeous fragrance which when i smell it it describes and it gives off money like i know this is long lasting i've worn it for a couple of days now and it's just beautiful it stays on the skin it's an oil-based fragrance so of course those are tend to last longer it is eau de parfum it is beautiful and i am wearing this and it is expensive but i love it my stomach is growling right now because i'm hungry but this is my fragrance of the day i am actually getting into bond number nine i don't know why i've been so late to the game on certain things i actually have two other fragrances from them but i think this is definitely worth it in terms of um being a fragrance lover and collector i'm from new york so i just i don't know i love what their brand stands for i like that you know they have different um burrows in new york and stuff like that and different things that symbolize just new york and things like that so that's super interesting to me but i am wearing as my body lotion this is the white musk from the body shop in the body cream i actually don't wear this as often because i wasn't really into musky scents growing up i was more so into like the nice sweeter i've always been a vanilla fan for as long as i know so with this white musk i was like you know what i really like it when i'm wearing a fragrance that has musk in it i feel more mature i feel like i smell more i don't know what it is it gives me like i'm the ceo of the company like i mean business because most times when i smell people who have a musk type fragrance on um they're really bossed up like boss vibes they're doing big things you smell them as soon as they walk past you and um i like it musk is definitely something that you have to like really it's like i feel like it's like almost an acquired scent because i know there's like moonlight path um that a lot of people just don't like from bath and body works and trust me i was there with you but i actually love moonlight path now and i think it's a beautiful mature scent um and your scent can change like you may not like something now but i guarantee you that may be different maybe a year or two or now or maybe a month from now you never know so this is my body cream from the body shop and i also paired it with the jovan musk this is the this is like a fragrance oil i believe um i got this from walmart and i really like it it's very different it has more like of a stick and you're gonna just drop it it's like a more it's not like a dropper but it is like a little stick and you can just rub it on and it's very very nice paired these two together um and then of course as my main fragrance i wore this and the combo is beautiful and i smell very very good i'm literally smelling myself as we speak and um i just have to share with you guys what my sense of the day was so if you want to let me know what your sense of the day is make sure you drop that in the comments and i love to read the comments i love talking to you guys and put us on to things we didn't know about okay anyways back to what the heck is in the bag next thing my airpods my airpods have been in the same case for years and i just love my little hello kitty case it's super cute it's convenient it, it opens like this you can see the airpods it's very pretty and it actually has like a little holder so in case you just wanted to like hang it on something or like your keychain um it's perfect for that i also carry around body lotion there is many times where like um i actually never forget to put on lotion before i leave the house and sorry i'm touching my hair because my braids always move out of place i don't forget to put on lotion before i leave the house it's either intentional or um it's just i just don't forget if i don't put on lotion before i leave the house it, it was intentional but again i will have a lotion so therefore i'll just put this on this i actually didn't buy specifically for a body lotion um and i mean that in, in the sense that i use it more of like a hand cream this is the strawberry pound cake body lotion from bath and body works i absolutely love it i was actually put onto it by like a co-worker at one point 
it smells good it's just warm i wasn't a fan of strawberry pound cake before but when i started using it as a hand cream it was almost like a nice comforting scent it made me think like uh i was like super sweet and it's such a nice bakery fragrance now i'm using this it's in my you know bag whenever i do feel like putting on a lotion like today with my scent going on i would not put this on because it just i feel like it would throw off the vibe that i have on because this is not like a musky fragrance with like patchouli and things like that so it wouldn't mix well the next thing i have are actual hand creams i love hand cream i think for me i pack for not only myself but for other people i remember one time i was at the airport with my boyfriend and like i was like oh baby you need some hand cream like i'll be like mom here's some hand cream because i notice that my hands are dry i think other people sometimes just are like whatever like no i'm like we don't have to go there we don't have to be dry we don't have to be ashy because i have it so it's always convenient to have a hand cream so in my bag right now i have the hyaluronic acid hand cream this one is very very nice it's very hydrating if your skin is prone to being extremely dry this is something you're going to want to have i got this one again they're both from bath and body works this is um the scent is kind of like a water scent the hyaluronic acid line from bath and body works their whole water line period is very fresh it's very a hyaluronic acid has like its own scent however if you use the one um for your face from the ordinary that doesn't really have a scent um and this is dahlia dahlia is like for today right so like I'm smelling really good and if I'm looking to continue to smell nice I'll just use a nice scented hand cream so yes I have Dahlia and then this is the one that I was telling you guys about this is the hyaluronic acid let me turn it like this I'm not even sure what way is good so I do keep like two hand creams one that's like heavily scented and one that is like you know more for hydration purposes when it comes to me i am a lip gloss girl that's why when i i only say i don't like the mask when it comes down to my lips i love my mouth and it's i know it sounds weird to say but i love wearing lip gloss that's something that i feel puts my look together it's the final step i wear lip gloss my lip liner my lipstick and wearing the mask it, it really almost makes it pointless to do that i might as well just have a little chapstick on me so in my bag i keep my nyx butter gloss if you do not have a nyx butter gloss you need to get one it is something that i feel like every woman should have they're amazing lip glosses they're hydrating they smell good they feel good i'm very into like the feel of the lip gloss i want my lip gloss to feel nice i have lip glosses that are more like um like a more shiny look but they just don't feel hydrating they feel it's crazy how it's like it's on my lip i feel more grease the moisture and I don't like that I don't want that feeling so I have two actually because today I can tell you my lip combo I'm wearing a NYX lip liner um and that is in the color oh my goodness I can't even tell you right now what the lip liner is and if it'll be down below what the color is but I'm wearing a liner and I'm wearing the NYX butter gloss in the color um creme brulee which I've had for years this is my oldest NYX butter gloss in a sense like this is the first one I ever got and I absolutely swear by creme brulee especially with a nice brown lip liner it's gorgeous so I do keep a lip liner and then I keep my ooh, this one is very very pretty this is the bit of honey lip liner from NYX I'm trying to get these things to focus <laughs> so I really recommend you guys have like a nice NYX butter gloss in your bag it is just absolutely perfect and they're just essentials for my bag and what's in my routine because I wear them almost every day. Now I'm saving the best for less. As you guys can see, I haven't talked about what's in my bag fragrance wise. I bring an eyebrow pencil. I do my eyebrows. I actually try to go for a more light eyebrow look today. Um, I love to have my eyebrow pencil with my braids at times, no matter how much of like a... Um, I don't know what they call those like an eyebrow setter i put on my my hair can like rub against my eyebrows and like kind of take off the pencil sometimes so i keep the nyx professional micro brow pencil in my bag um and these are really nice these are what i use i get them from amazon this has been the good old faithful for me and this is in the color black noir so if you need an eyebrow pencil something affordable i pay like 650 for it on amazon try this out because i used to do the anastasia brow pencils and baby um not so good <laughs> like it was too expensive 21 dollars they would run out super fast 
not the best thing wasted a lot of money i wear contacts these are not prescription lenses that i have on right now i keep extra contacts in my bag if you are a person who wears contact lenses and i wear dailies but regardless if you wear dailies or if you wear um you know the regular ones i don't even know what they call those like we're weeklies monthlies i don't even know um you should keep an extra in your bag i've been in this situation where um i actually like basically my contacts like messed up throughout the day or something and i was like oh shoot like i'm screwed i don't have my glasses on me i don't have an extra contact i can't see without them so i keep an extra pair on me at all times with solution just do it just do it you'll thank yourself later not even me yourself because you were responsible enough to just be prepared for an if then um omg circumstance you know and it's just better to be safe than what sorry correct so then yeah so let's go into my fragrances i keep fragrances on deck i am the type of girl to mix my fragrances i don't really care too much unless it's you know if it's not something that's super uh different like it's, i'm not gonna smell like a banana and then put on a freaking like you know bond number nine like it depends like it just it's just different um i want to show you guys what i have in here so lately i've been trying out burberry fragrances um to see which ones i like i really want to get burberry her but um i have yet to find it in like marshall's tj maxx that's where i really want to get it i don't want to pay full price but this is Burberry The Beat, and I like it because it's super tiny. Look at this. It's so cute. It's I wish it was more like a key holder type of, like, key chain hanger type of perfume. But this, listen, you guys, it's very pretty. It's It kind of, it kind of smells like, you know what, I don't even know what this smells like. It's fresh. It's a fresh fragrance very fresh and clean i don't get citrus notes from it but i actually want to find the notes give me one second you know what's funny i think for me when i think of fragrances when i think i'm too sure of something i like doubt it before it could even be possible because i just told you guys i don't think there's citrus because i but it's funny how citrus was the first thing that came to my head and there's citrus in it but whatever there's citrus um, it's musky, it's woody, powdery, aromatic, iris, soft, spicy, warm, spicy, fresh, spicy. So it is fresh. It's a floral, woody, musk fragrance. Um, and I think that, oh wow, this is crazy. It's, it, this was launched in 2008. So I got this from TJ Maxx. I really like it on me though. That's beautiful. And again, I just like to keep this in my bag. Super convenient on the go you know the next fragrance that i have and you need this this is the toka cleopatra if you guys have been watching me for a long time i didn't even know about i knew about toka but i didn't take it seriously until i heard my girl natalie grace talk about it on youtube god bless natalie she's amazing she's beautiful check her out um she talks about toka toka is very beautiful i found these little minis in like my local marshalls or tj maxx whichever one it was i pretty much find similar items in both stores this is long lasting this is powerful this is something that people have asked me like ash where did you get this what is it this is it toka cleopatra this is more like a rub-on fragrance so you would just put it on and just rub it um all over wherever you don't need a lot because it's very very strong honestly that's why i haven't even gone to get a bigger bottle because this little one just does it for me i just don't need a lot and it, people will smell you you will be complimented and that's why i keep it in my purse because sometimes i'm looking to be more strong um especially if i didn't wear something that was super like boom to begin with throughout the day i'll put on my toka and be a-okay good to go now let's talk about hair ties there's not much to say keep one in your purse i've been in this situation where i just wanted to put my hair up and i didn't have a hair tie and i'm like hey i know y'all were in high school college whatever and you asked a friend hey girl do you have a hair tie it just happens to the best of us let's just be the girl who has the hair ties because it just makes life so much easier so yes in my bag i got some hair ties right in there okay and fragrances again because i'm obsessed i'm just obsessed and um join the ride this is a little mini sample from nubian essentia i want to talk to you guys more about nubian essentia in some more videos because i i absolutely adore nubian essential it is a black owned business i know the owner personally he is a gem he is someone that i support wholeheartedly um he makes designer fragrance oils this one right here is the dolce and gabbana light blue dreaming and 
it is in again a fragrance oil this is a tiny little sample bottle i've been keeping this with me um just because he gave this to me and i love it i'm going to leave nubian essentials website down below check them out the oils are natural they don't have all these chemicals that most fragrances do have inside check them out they last long you will honestly not even need a perfume after using those fragrance oils um and i love the brand and the company it's actually in my area to be honest so check them out i will be talking about him and his brand more um in the next coming videos but absolutely amazing if you love oils check them out last thing fragrance wise i got this in ross can you believe it this is the Gucci Bloom Aqua di Fiori, I believe. Oh, my camera is about to die. I love this. This is very, very strong. It does give me like a more grassy smell, um, but it is good and it's Gucci. And I'm just walking around with Gucci and it's a roll-on. Just put it on my wrist and be good to go. You can bring this with you anywhere and it smells like money. Literally, big bucks. Like, I love it. Look at this, you guys literally money i paid 20 dollars for it and i just don't even think i'll be getting the big one because this is enough for me if you see that they can't or changed a little bit it's because i got up the last things that i have in my purse are my keys to my car to the beamer i'm just playing i got a kia <laughs> um i keep my little hand sanitizer on it this is like an older hand sanitizer like pocket back case from bath and body works i'm carrying the midsummer dream um in my bag i'm absolutely in love with this fragrance let me know if you love midsummer dream like i do it is just amazing and another thing my loves my phone of course i honestly my phone don't really be in the bag like that it is in my hand majority of the time i have all of my cards and cash i never used to carry cash um that was something i do when i was a kid you know when i didn't really have much money like i just had like my little 20 dollars my parents would give me um and when i got older and i started making my own coin i didn't really carry cash and i felt bad when i would go get my nails done and i i prefer to tip in cash and i wasn't prepared so i keep some cash on me it's not a lot i'm not trying to flex no money but just some cash five dollars twenty dollars so that if i go to a restaurant i could just tip in cash i don't want to leave it on the card um you know just carry some cash with you ladies men out there just just in case you know but that is pretty much it for the what's in my bag video living ash edition i hope that you guys were able to see a little bit about me and what i like to carry with me and it does change all the time like during the time of a month i'll have like a pad or you know i'll carry gum here and there but i don't chew gum as often that's why i didn't say that um and there's just other things like i carry a bigger bag sometimes so it all depends on the day how i'm feeling i hope this video was helpful or entertaining to you guys make sure you guys subscribe follow me on instagram for more content similar to this and just to keep up with my daily life and of course on tiktok at living ash 20 and if you didn't know i have two other channels at the ash life and pat and ash vlogs so you can check me out over there and i hope you guys enjoy thank you guys so very much i love and appreciate every single last one of you god bless you and i will see you guys in the next video and don't forget to check out bellway and everything they have to offer down below bye guys